Leaf modification is when a plant changes leaves over time to adapt to its environment. Whole leaves or parts of leaves are often modified for special functions, such as for climbing and substrate attachment, storage, protection against predation or climatic conditions, or trapping and digesting insect prey. In temperate trees, leaves are simply protective bud scales. In the spring when shoot growth is resumed, they often exhibit a complete growth series from bud scales to fully developed leaves. Stipules often develop before the rest of the leaf. They protect the young blade and are shed when the leaf matures. The basic differences with the stem modifications are as follows. 1. They don't have nodes and internodes. 2. They lack adventitious roots except bryophyllum. 3. They lack buds of all types axillary, apical or terminal buds. 4. They may or may not be green or photosynthetic. 1. Leaf tendrils. The whole leaf or more typically the parts of the leaves are modified into slender sensitive tendrils for climbing, depending on the area of the leaf so modified it is of the following types. The whole lamina is modified in Lathyrus or wild pea. The terminal leaflets in the pea are modified, while the apex is in Gloriosa. The petiole in Clematis and the stipules in Smilax are commonly modified into tendrils. 2. Storage leaves Leaves become fleshy and succulent due to the deposition of water and food. The leaves are partly modified like leaves of agave, aloe, and porcelaca. The scaly leaves of onion are modified to store food. 3. Spines The lamina or a part of the leaf may be modified into a hard sharp pointed structure, known as the spine, for self-defense. In common opuntia The stem evolves into green and flattened, phylloclade, and the leaves are converted into spines, see stem modification. Similarly, the apex of the date palm and the margin of argemon are modified into a spine. The stipules in acacia are modified into spines. Note, the thorns and spines carry on the same function. Thorns are modified stems and spines are modified leaves. 4. Insect catching leaves or carnivorous plants. Insectivorous plants or carnivorous plants poses peculiar leaves nicely adapted for catching insects. They use their leaves to attract and trap insects. Glands in the leaves secrete enzymes that digest the captured insects, and the leaves then absorb the nitrogenous compounds, amino acids, and other products of digestion. Plants that use insects as a nitrogen source tend to grow in nitrogen-deficient soils. 5. Vegetative Propagation Leaves of bryophyllum and begonia bear epiphyllous buds that is buds on the leaves which help in vegetative multiplication in favorable conditions.